Nothing for Lingard to do, he's cut inside, can he get it in? Lingard's just rolled it wide! Hey guys, how are you all doing today? Hope you're having a good day. I hope you're enjoying the series as well. If you are, hit that like button. If it's the first time on this channel, first time watching the series, basically it's an all English Chelsea team and we're trying to win the league. If that sounds interesting to you, hit that subscribe button and that like button. And don't forget to check out our podcast on every Sunday, 6 pm British time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So, let's get into the Forest game. Can Lingard do it? Can he get past him? He has got past him. Got held up. He's still got it, though. Can he get the ball into the box? Tammy Abraham, sir! There it is! I said he was quiet! And the quietness has been deafened by the noise of the crowd. That was fantastic play from Lingard to keep the run going. And Tammy Abraham just had to easily nod it home. And that's 1-0 to Chelsea. And it's been a bit of a frustrating start so far. But we are ahead. Just ease. Find a flaw. Or a Forest going to get straight back into it. And there it is. Straight down the other side of the pitch. And after just two minutes, Ross McCormack has brought things level. Since they went behind... Terrible defending from Chelsea. An and it's 1-1. One, one. Well, the equaliser has happened. Took perhaps the opposition by surprise. Oh, another missed tackle there. And Forrester With some danger. are on the attack and it's dangerous. This is looking very dangerous. What a shot this would be if Chelsea was to lose. To separate these teams despite these chances. So close. Still pressure though. Ross McCormack, the goal scorer for Forrest. Still dangerous. Pickford saves it. Can Shawcross get rid of it? So close. Can Gray find him? Gray's find Lingard. Nothing for Lingard to do. He's cut inside. Can he get it in? Lingard's just rolled it wide. And you cannot believe it. Everyone thought that was it. And that was it. Enough time, Lingard. Surely Lingard, he's done it! He's rolling past the keeper and we're going through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup now, surely. He missed it first time, but he made sure he rolled it past the keeper this time. Under his arm, into the corner of the net. 2-1. And we are very lucky to be going through. Oh no, it's not over yet. Oh! Wow, what a save from Pickford. Nearly tears came to my eyes. It is still not over though. It's not over. Until that whistle is blown. Oh, what a save from Tom Kane! I do not believe it. Andre Gray clears it. Oh, wow. Tom Kane is the hero of the day. That was one hell of a cup tie and Forrest give us one hell of a run for our money. So quick look at the stats. And they had more possession and more shots, more shots on target. But at the end of the day, we are the team coming away with an extra goal. 90th minute from Lingard. Fantastic. So here we are, the quarterfinals of the FA Cup and we are against Sunderland. We made a few changes from the last FA Cup team in terms of Shaw's coming for Crestwell. Uh, a couple of changes like Gray's dropped. Antonio's back. He is now fit. Deli Alley starts. Andre Gray starts up front with two wide. So yeah, a few changes. We, we have to win the FA Cup. Otherwise, we will definitely get sacked. So, let's get into the game. With Darren Gibson. So, no one passing the ball well around early. And early chance for Sondo. And then just 1-0 already. After just two minutes, Chelsea are caught napping. 
Are they on the way out of the FA Cup already? Approach to this game. Not looking like the normal Chelsea that we are uh, so used to. Well, a long way off target. Just no way in. Oh, it's so tight at the back. Tammy Abraham, what a pass, what a goal. And out of absolutely nothing, it looked like it was going to be so tight that we weren't going to be able to score. Someone gets the ball and plays a fantastic through ball. And Tammy Abraham literally just has to pass it past the keeper. And he's only been on the field a couple of minutes. Tammy Abraham looking to bring this game alive. What a pass. Gray. Out to Rashford. What can he do from there? Nothing. Plays it in the box. Surely someone's going to get on it. Gray. Can he have another shot? No. Great, great ball. Rodwell. Surely no. Kyle Walker has been an absolute beast since he come on. And that is a great pass. Great pass from Rodwell. What can Rashford do with it? He's cut inside. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. And Sunderland's hearts have just dropped right out their ass. Rashford looks like he's won the game for us. Another late goal in an FA Cup match. May have put us through to the semis. And we haven't half made this look difficult. Supporters want to see... Just a little bit more in the time that remains. You have to feel so good for Sunderland. Although it's not over. And what an absolutely fantastic goal. I was just about to say you have to feel gutted for Sunderland. As they did not deserve to lose this game. But they've not lost it. They've got, we're going back to Stamford Bridge. The ref not for blowing his whistle just yet. Could Chelsea lose it? We may not be going back to Stamford Bridge. That is. We are going back to Stamford Bridge and not what we wanted. Oh, extra time. Us. Right, okay. We're going into extra time, not to going to Stamford Bridge. The pressure down this wing again where we've been so vulnerable so far in this game. Billy Jones. Oh, wow. And that took a deflection, I think. And Chelsea get rid of this ball. Whoa, dangerous, very dangerous. Oh, wow. Oh, I just blasted it straight at them. Oh, it's looking dangerous. Rodwell plays it forward. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Surely this is it. Surely, Gray. Gray, sneaky pass. Yes, and Rashford done it. We've done it. We're through. A nice, dirty, stinky pass at the end there. And there's players coming from everywhere. Off the pitch, on the pitch. And surely now that's it. Surely we're through to the semi-finals. I did have a little panic when he hit that ball. That he'd smashed it straight into the keeper. But he's got it. It looks like we're going through. Sunderland have got to take this on the chin and try and move forward. Got to just park the bus now. The game, there it is. We're through. We made it difficult. But we have done it. We are through to the semi-finals. I must admit, I don't feel that we are good enough to win it after the last two FA Cup games. But we have to keep going. Quick look at the stats. And as you can see... They have more possession. Same shots. Same shots on target. Um, it's a very even game. And they had uh, a few dangerous chances. And we were poor at times. But we're through. Let's get going. Do a quick run through this month's results. So the first game was West Ham. It was a 0-0 draw. Uh, obviously, you know about the 3-2 win against Sunderland in the Cup. We then went to Stoke, a 2-2 draw, uh, a week off. And then Watford at home, a 1-1 draw. Three draws in the month. I think we can count that as 
six points dropped in the league, really. So let's have a quick look at the league table. So we're not in the best of positions at the moment. So we're 10th in the league, 41 points. Three points would take us up a player to two. But we are eight points adrift off the Europa League place. And uh, 11 points adrift of uh, Crystal Palace in fourth. Crystal Palace and Spurs are running away with the title at the moment. So it doesn't look like we're going to get Champions League and it, it, that could well mean that we get sacked. But we'll see. Uh, so the next uh, next episode is going to be the semi-final of the FA Cup and hopefully the final. Uh, and then we'll run through the end of the season. So an absolute massive injury blow. Our only... Decent English goalkeeper Jordan Pickford has pick, broke his ankle and he will be out for seven weeks. That will probably mean the remainder of the season and uh, we are in big, big trouble now. So a quick run through the results of April. Um, 2-0 win against Crystal Palace. 1-1 uh, draw against uh, Manchester City, which was probably quite a decent result. Uh, then another 1-1 draw against Bournemouth. Um, another draw, which we dropped way too many points recently. And a 2-0 loss to Manchester United. So, it, off into the semi-final in the next episode. We will start the episode with that. There's then five games left of the Premier League season. Um, hopefully it will be six and we will be playing the FA Cup final along with that. So we'll have a quick look at the lead table. So as you can see, we're still in 10th place. We have won 13, drawn seven, which I think have been within the last month. We seem to have drawn a lot and lost 13. Uh, 46 points is not good enough. Even if we could pick up... Um, three wins and a draw for the next five games it would only take us to around fourth place now so the chances of Champions League are probably off the table uh, Europa spot is probably out the, the too far out of the way as well so that the only way we're getting into Europe is by winning the FA Cup uh, it's been a diff disappointing season um, the only thing we can hope for is the board is not going to sack us, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so tune in for the next episode. It will be the end of the season. We will have either won the FA Cup or lost it, uh, and we will have kept or lost the, our job. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, like and subscribe. Don't forget to miss. Don't forget to miss. <laughs> don't forget to watch the podcast every Sunday. 6 p.m. Uh, British time or 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we talk about the gaming news and obviously don't forget to watch all the other videos on this channel. Uh, thank you very much and bye bye.